Good afternoon and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. How is everybody doing this Saturday afternoon? I come to you guys today with a real quick recipe. If you're watching this channel for the first time, take the time to subscribe. If you're strolling through the YouTube and you happen to land on my channel, subscribe. I will appreciate it and I thank you. So to my recent subscriber, thank you once again. Today's recipe will be my way. It's so many recipes of people doing um, honey. It's called Korean butter honey butter chicken. But I'm not doing Korean honey butter chicken. I'm doing my own butter honey butter chicken. So I'm doing it my way. And my version will be a little bit different from what you see everybody else do on YouTube. It'll be a tad bit different because I like to put a twist on my stuff. You understand what I'm saying? It's something got to outstand the other. Something got to be different. So I am that person. I am the different one. So for my recipe, my honey butter, my honey butter chicken you will need baking powder, you will need cornstarch, and for the seasonings, I'll be using now, you, for the honey butter chicken, of course, you'll, um, you'll, most people use flour, right? The fried chicken with flour. Okay, but I'm going to use Lifty's Spices Fish and Chicken Mix. This is going to be my flour base right here. Okay, this is so good. And it has everything that I need in it. It has a little spices in it. But we're not going to do it too. I'm still going to season my food. But it's not going to be to where it's salty, okay? So I'm going to put this whole bag in here. Oh, no. I'm going to take some out because we only need like... We're gonna need like a little bit of flour, like. So I'll put this part, I'll just pull some of this back into a Ziploc bag. Now, this is what I'm gonna dredge my chicken in. Okay, so. I pour some about that much right there. You see, guys, that's enough for a flour. Okay, and then you will need soul food seasoning. I'm using poultry seasoning, of course, kosher salt. You will need two eggs, garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder and sazon and a little bit of chicken flavor for you okay you will need that so i have my um chicken mix in here we're going to add in a teaspoon of baking powder So just a teaspoon of baking powder. See, mine's going to be different. And we're going to do let's say one fourth cup of cornstarch. Now, this has cornstarch in it. Okay? This Lifty's has cornstarch in it, but I don't know how much cornstarch it has in it. So I'm going to add in some more so I know how much I have in it. And the more the merrier. Now we're going to sift this together. We're gonna, I'm going to um, stir this together. And we want to make sure that you get this well combined. Everything good incorporated, okay? So hit those sides, scrape both sides, scrape down to the bottom, get everything good and combined.
Because with the flour, with these spices, and I keep calling it it's a flour recipe, it's a um, chicken mix. But it has flour in it, it has wheat flour. Let me tell you the ingredients it has in here. It has wheat flour, corn flour, salt, dehydrated garlic and onion spices, um, paprika, lemon juice, powder, corn syrup, solids, lemon juice, lemon oil, cornstarch, and silicone added to prevent caking. Contains wheat. So it has some ingredients, good seasoning. It's a good mix, and I use it like all the time. I use it on my fish sometimes. I use it on my pork chop sometimes. And I use it on my chicken, like I'm doing now. So, to be different, and instead of doing the flour, I'm adding my lifted mix. Okay, so... We're gonna set this aside because we don't need this right now. And I'm gonna take two bowls. I'm not gonna put my egg in. This is gonna be for my egg wash. both my eggs in here so we're just going to give this a little stir oh no I did not I be darned Okay, so we have our egg wash. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring y'all attention back over this way because we're going to get ready and dredge this chicken and we're going to get ready and fry it. Okay. So I have my chicken here. It's already been cleaned and washed. It's already been cleaned and washed. So let me move this over some. I have my chicken. I need the flour mixture. We need the egg wash. Okay, now for the um Korean honey butter chicken. It you it calls to fry the chicken twice, right? Okay, I'm not going to fry my chicken twice. I ain't got time for that. I'm not going to fry it twice. And it's ready. So, let me season it right quick. I'm going to put some oil on my chicken. You know I do this so my seasoning can stick, right? So, like I said, this is my way of doing it. There are a lot of recipes out there. But, but this is not Korean honey butter chicken. This is honey, just honey butter chicken. My way. So we're going to season it with a little salt. I'm telling you, it's going to be good, y'all. Try it. I won't stir you wrong. Try this recipe once.
Nu ser jag här på det. Passar med det då. Och det går då. Okay, we got our black pepper. Now, I'm gonna show you what this chicken look like, what the first batch look like. And then I'm gonna turn my camera off and I'm gonna fry this rest of this chicken up. Then I'll be back to show you our next step, okay? We're gonna get this first batch set um, for the, fried up, okay? Um, poultry seasoning. And see, I took the time to um, cut the chicken like I got little lines in them where I'm cutting the chicken because we wanted to get that, we want to get that meat done because, as you know, the drumsticks are thick and we want to make sure that we have every last piece done. We don't want to bite into it and it's a little pink on the inside. So that's why I cut it. To make sure everything is done. Okay, so next I'll be using garlic powder. Okay, next I'll be using onion powder. Next I'll be using a little saison. And last but not least, I'll be using my chicken flavor. It's chicken bouillon, but these are, this is the powder. I'll be using that. I just love this in my um, chicken, my fried chicken. Okay, now we're going to start the frying process. Now wash your hands. Okay, so I'm gonna take my chicken here. I'm gonna dredge it in my um, egg wash into my flour mixture. Make sure it's nice and coated. Shake off the excess. Okay, my, uh, my um, deep fries is set at 365 
and it is good and hot. So I'm coating my chicken. Shake off the excess, the excess egg um, mixture, coating it in my flour mixture. Now, when doing this recipe and you want to do flour, go ahead and use you some flour if you don't have lifties. But you can find lifties in Walmart for $2 and some change. Shake off the excess. And if you need more flour mixture, just add some more to it if you find yourself getting low. Okay? Just make the recipe all over again. Need more egg wash? Just add in more eggs. So we're going to fry these, these up. And I'm going to let y'all see how these come out. I'm going to go in with one more piece of chicken four, and make it four. Then I'm going to get, when this gets done, I'm going to get the rest of them fried up, like I said. And I'll be back to you guys. Shake off the excess egg mixture. Dip in my flour mix. This is going to be so good, this honey bar, this honey um, chicken. For those of you who have not had fried honey chicken, fried honey butter chicken, you're in for a treat. Do make this recipe. Honey butter fried chicken. Do make this recipe. I'm telling you, you will like it. And I ain't doing nothing y'all can't do. So coat it really well. And I'm dropping my last piece in. Okay. So I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm going to let them four cook. And then I'm going to put four more in after they get done. Now, I want to show you guys the ingredients that we'll need to make this honey butter chicken. The rest of the ingredients, okay? It's been a little minute since I had some honey butter chicken. Like a, It's been like maybe four or five months since I made some last. Oh, I cannot wait to try So we're gonna need some more um, egg. So I'm gonna put some more egg wash in here. We just 
chicken. Let this chicken fry. It calls for your chicken to be double fried, but we're not going to fry it twice because when I do it like this the first time, trust me, it's coming out crunchy. And I'm going to let y'all see it. Because the purpose of doing it, of double frying it, is for it to have, for it to be crunchy and have skin on it. For the skin to be crunchy. Y'all going to see in a few minutes. Okay? It's going to be just like that. So that's why I don't double fry mine. Okay, um, I'm going to turn y'all over this way and show you the ingredients that we need for okay these are the ingredients we need for the honey barbecue chicken I'm sorry for the um, honey butter chicken not honey bar barbecue honey butter okay so you will need one stick of butter at room temperature it calls for one garlic clove okay one garlic clove, but I'm using two garlic cloves because I love my garlic. Okay, two fresh garlic cloves, one a stick of butter room temperature. I got a half a cup of white sugar. Then I'm going to use a half a cup of brown sugar. It only calls for a half a cup. It only calls for white sugar. I'm using them both. I tell you, mine's different. And I have honey. You will need you some honey, okay? So that's it. So we have our stick of butter, our two fresh garlic cloves, brown sugar, and our white sugar. So I'm gonna get a bowl to put these chicken in. I got this pan right here. I'm gonna line it up with some um, paper towels. So when my chicken come out, I just can drop it into this pan here. Like I said, it's a lot of different recipes out there for honey butter chicken. But try this recipe. Try this recipe. It's different. You ain't gonna find no other recipe. You will not find no other recipe on YouTube. You just did it like how I did it. Like how I'm doing it. Oh, they're gonna find something that's gonna put the they're gonna put the cornstarch in. Now I'm talking about using the flour. Everyone use all-purpose flour. I'm not using that. my husband what he want me to fix them so he wants oxtails 
I'm not going to do a, another recipe of oxtails, but I am going to come on and let y'all see me fixing my Sunday's dinner for my husband. Okay? It's a Father's Day dinner. So it will be oxtails. Um, he want oxtails. We're going to have um, collard greens, um, rice. I don't know if I'm going to do cornbread or cornbread muffins, but it's going to be cornbread. And um, a baked sweet potato. And I don't know what I'm going to do for dessert yet. That's all he wanted. And we just did an oxtail recipe. I just did one about two weeks ago. We had oxtail. And I did an oxtail recipe. So right now, today is Saturday. About two hours ago, I just got through doing my oxtails. Well, I marinated them. I cut up everything in there. So if y'all go back and look at the recipe, you'll see how I do my oxtails. So... Um, I have them sitting in the refrigerator. They're going to marinate overnight, and I get up first thing in the morning and get them things to go in on the stove. And they're going to be so good. They are so freaking flavorful. I mean, I have those things loaded down with flavor. Y'all hear me? They are loaded down with some flavor. So we're giving, we giving those oxtails a chance to marinate overnight. Oh my God, they're going to be so good. Okay. Let me show y'all this so y'all can see this. Y'all see how... Y'all see how crunchy that chicken is? Can you see how crunchy it is? That's why I'm not um, frying it twice because I knew once I did it this like this, it's going to be already crispy. And that cornstarch helps it too. It give it a good texture. Look. Ain't that's a beautiful piece of chicken drumstick? Mmm. I'm going to take my fork. Okay, I'm going to sit that one back in there. I see a little pink. Can y'all see how good the chicken look? I just fried the four pieces and it's nice and crispy. That's why I didn't want to double fry my chicken because I knew it was going to be crispy on the first go round. Okay, so I'm going to fry the rest of this chicken up. 
Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do next to my honey butter chicken. My way. So come on back. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, welcome back. I fried the chicken all up. I have some put away that we just I'm just gonna leave fried and some I'm gonna do um in this bowl here is going to be my honey butter chicken. My way. My fried honey butter chicken. Y'all, this chicken is so good and I ain't put it in a honey butter yet. I just fried it with the um Lifty's um seasoning mix. Just use that. Okay? Use this recipe to exact. So I have my pan here getting hot. We're going to show y'all how to make this honey butter sauce. So, I have my pan in here getting hot. I'm adding one stick of butter. And you want that butter to room temperature. Okay. You need one fresh garlic clove. But I'm using two fresh garlic cloves because, y'all know me, I love my garlic. So I will be using two fresh garlic cloves okay so I'm gonna add in my two fresh garlic cloves yes 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 this is going to be so good I'm telling y'all it's different and ain't like everybody's on that you see on YouTube with the fried what you need the um the flour and all that mine's different we're using the cake for the um lifty seasoning mix in place of the flour but you will need the baking powder and the cornstarch okay so to that i'm gonna add in my one cup of sugar I mean, I'm sorry, my half a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to add in a half a cup of brown sugar. So this is my half a cup of brown sugar. Now, the normal recipe just calls for one cup of sugar. And that's white sugar. I'm using them both different and we're going to add in our honey i will be adding all this little bit of honey in here followed by some more now it's going to be sweet but to balance out the sweet that's what is korean honey um korean butter chicken honey butter chicken you use worcestershire sauce Okay, but I'm not going to use Worcestershire sauce. I want mine to be different. And this is going to be different. Because you will find now another on YouTube exactly like this. I mean exactly, okay? So we have an extra little bit of honey. And I use a lot of honey because I love the honey. Okay. So to balance out those flavors, I'm going to be using two cupfuls of lemon juice. To balance out those flavors for being so sweet. So we're going to mix this together. So we have the um, room temperature stick, one stick of butter. We have the um, two fresh garlic cloves. We have half a oh, um, um, honey in here. I put half of the bottle of the honey. We have a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. So let me turn this down to low. I turn it down. 
I'm gonna stir it like this. And we're just gonna let this come together before we add our chicken in, okay? We're just gonna let this cook a little minute. So I'm gonna taste it just to see how it is. If it's too sweet. If you want it to be like a little sweet, bitter like, but a little sweet. Mmm. I gotta taste it some more. This oh, this is hot. Mm. Mm hmm Oh, it's good. Mm. Mm hmm It's good, y'all. I ain't adding no honey. I was gonna add in um if it's too sweet, add in some um, lemon juice, just a cap full, just to diffuse it a little bit, but I'm not going now. I'm not going now, y'all. And since I got just a little bit of brown sugar left, I'm just gonna use the rest of this brown sugar because it don't make no sense in saving that little bit. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Y'all try this recipe. Can't go wrong. And pair it off with one of your sides. Whatever side that you like, pair it off with it. Y'all don't have to do the extra honey. That is total optional. Okay? That is total optional. But y'all know I'm different. And different is good. Let me tell you like that. Ain't nothing wrong with different. Different is good. Because if God wanted all of us to be the same, he would have made all of us the same. We have different styles, different ideals, different looks, different everything. Different ideals. Just different. And I have my own style of way of cooking. I may use this, the same recipes. I mean, not the same recipes, the same ingredients as somebody else would because, you know, most ingredients call for pretty much the same. But it's going to be mine with a little unique spin on it, a different spin. You feel me? Like this honey butter chicken. Now, you can call it what you like. It's Korean honey butter chicken and Korean honey butter chicken. Korean honey butter chicken my way. But can't Korean honey butter chicken. Calls for a little Worcestershire sauce. Some people add it. A lot of people add Worcestershire sauce in their Korean honey butter chicken. I didn't add not one drop of Worcestershire sauce in this. And I'm not. Okay, let me turn that back up where you can cook. And we're gonna put our um so we've been cooking it now for four minutes. Like Johnny Mill say. Johnny Gill, I mean and I'm talking about Johnny Mill. Johnny Gill. He said, my, 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 you sure was good tonight. 
what I'm saying. My, my, my. This show look good. And it's so darn tasty. You got to say, my, my. I can't sing, y'all. <laughs> my, my. Oh. Mm. Y'all, this ain't too sweet. Honey, this thing is popping. It's on and it's popping. I taste the butter. I taste both of the, the flavors of the sugar. Oh, yeah. Both of those sugars just work good together. Instead of just doing the white sugar, you know what I mean? And most dishes of um, Korean honey butter chicken you see i'm just do the white sugar honey I'm, i did the brown and the white okay dear front and don't go out there and get you know if you ain't got no lifties then you you go ahead and use you some flour but honey for this recipe if you want to do it different than what you've been seeing on youtube get you some lifties Get this. Lift these spices. Fish and chicken. Oven pan or deep fry mix. You see that? Lift these. Spices. This is what you want. And they have a mild kind and they have a hot kind. This is the mild. Yes, 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 yes. It's coming together. Yes, 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 yes. I gotta be to work at five. I gotta drive to another city. So I'm working from five to 11. And I had to have me something to eat, y'all. So I had to get up and cook. And I'd be glad when 11 o'clock comes so I can get on the interstate and be bringing it back to Gainesville. You all give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. Tell a friend, tell a family member, tell a co-worker, tell a loved one about Joy's Kitchen. So they too can catch some of these delicious recipes I'll be uploading. And be sure when you subscribe, hit that notification bell. So every time I upload one of these little recipes, y'all will be notified. Yes, do hit the notification bell. Subscribe one, subscribe all. All right. Oh, shoot. God darn it, why I did that. I taste the syrup right up off of that and burnt my hand. I knew this junk was hot, but I just did it anyway. Okay, now I'm going to add this chicken in here. I'm going to add a few pieces of this chicken in here. Now I'm going to take the little small spoon. And I'm going to coat this bad baby. Mm. Turn it down. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know how when you fry chicken, chicken's crispy. <laughs> You know when you fry chicken crispy, um, you got it. Well, you got it, you got it in your bowl, and it be some crumbs be done filled off the chicken. Child, I'm eating the crumbs off the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> mm. Oh, look at that, y'all! Look at that! 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 Shucky, shucky, shucky now. Do me, baby. Mm. Yes, 
yes, yes, yes, yes. Can y'all see that what I'm doing? Honey, butter, fried chicken, Joanne's way. 101. Like, share, and subscribe. Make this recipe and tell me how you like it. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what y'all can do. If you think you want a little spicy to this, add a little bit of heat to it. Add some cayenne pepper to it. Add some red pepper flakes. And you got yourself some heat. I started to add some red pepper flakes to this. But... Um... My husband is not a heat fan. So, I didn't want it to be too hot where he can't eat it. And I left most of the rest of the chicken I have in the oven. And it's already fried and crispy up. Yes, that look good, y'all. Okay. I'm cut my stove off because we're not going to let this sit in here. Now, this up right quick what I did with my um my tongs Y'all over here, let y'all look at that. Honey, butter, chicken, Joanne's way. Like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. And I thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Try this recipe. Y'all seen the way I did it. Description of it. Everything you need will be in the drop box below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. I thank you all for watching. Enjoy it. Joanne's Honey Butter Fried Chicken. My way. So thanks for watching you guys. And to the next recipe. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy this one. God bless.